So, uh, well, well, we can't break into the password and the characters keep glitching, so we're going to just crack it open and see what uh, what's inside it, and I think it might be scrap, personally. I think I'll be inclined to agree with you there. Oh, hang on, my phone's upside down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, here we go, covering the lens up now. Oh, Whoa! Look at that. Oh my god. I can see the uh, processor underneath there. Look at that. We don't need no stinking heatsink. No, we don't. Is it warm? It's got a layer of dust on it, it's not even warm. <laughs> it's not been built in <laughs> No, would it? To be fair. That's a serious logic. That <clears throat> I don't know what that would be, but I only know serious logic to do things like um, graphics cards and stuff. Yeah. Are we taking the cards out? Why not? Why not? Don't forget these won't have been out in 10, 15 years, ah. if at all. It's got a uh, long ass connector on and that LED blinks when it's powered up. In fact this is warmer than the processor. I think it's probably the, is it the SCSI controller. I don't know. Still pissing around with Amigas when uh, when this was made. Yeah, me too. That's the VGA card. Trident. Yeah, and it's a one meg, thirty-two bit ISA bus. If you can get a thirty-two bit ISA, it says seems to think so. It's uh, dated nineteen ninety-two. It's a TVGA eight nine zero zero D. Um, on that one. There's your 10 meg 3 base T card. Whoa. Look at that. It's a 3 com Ethelink 2 stroke 16. And there's 2 inches of dust on there. It's not easy to get to these. This is the SCSI controller. Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to get them out. It's like you take the power supply out or something. Yeah, because the screw's on this side down here. Oh, yeah. So you have to take the power supply out. Well, the power supply looks like a mighty beast anyway. So, is this a SCSI or an IDE hard disk drive? No, that's fucking. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was moving that out of the way to try and have a look. That's not IDE, that's too wide. Yeah. Right, power supply out. <clears throat> Can have a closer look at this motherboard. It's an M601 V1.3B. Uh, no manufacturer. Good old. Uh, painless. We know it's got 32 megabytes of RAM in it, I suppose it must do if it was a server, it'd be like the top of its game for yeah. 1992, that. I think I had 8 meg in my 486 in that sort of era. Is this what the hard drive was plugged into? Yep. Let's see, from 1995, so that must be a replacement board. Is that what he said in that service book, that he'd replaced the hard drive? Uh, something like that, I 
Well, oh, no, replace the cable. The cable. Well, the board isn't cleaner than the rest of everything, and it's dated newer than the rest of everything. So I can only assume that it's a slightly newer piece of kit. Keep forgetting the cameras to one side on on these. Yeah. There's the hard drive led. Two. Yeah, hang on, that might be the hard disk. It might be the tape drive that's the SCSI device. Oh no, hang on. That's the hard disk there, isn't it? Yeah, the floppy's floppy coming disk off. Is there. That, that goes to nothing. That's just the um, card because it won't have any on board. No. My old 486 had a separate controller. What? So nothing was plugged into. But then again, wasn't that plugged into the. That was plugged into the top one. Yeah, so the hard drive is SCSI. Yeah. And the other devices is oh, actually no because there's only one plugged in. Well, they're both because you look. They're on the same. It's on the yeah. same ribbon. Yeah. Right. Floppy and that goes to nothing. So it'd be IDE. It would have been IDE. So, yeah. but I doubt it would have. Um, is it a tappy for the CD-ROMs? Pass. Hmm. It's got a mix of 72 and 30 pin sims, I would say. Is there any more info about the board anywhere? Other than its model number. Not that I can see. It's, a, it's got a standard size hard disk drive apart from its SCSI interface and uh, other than that I'm interested in making sure there's turbo LEDs on the right. Ah, <laughs> oh, turbo switch is unconnected. Ah, so it's not doing anything. Turbo LED. Power, LED, key, the lock, turbo, oh hang on. That's turbo LED, reset switch, turbo switch. So the turbo switch is, that's the hard drive LED. Turbo switch must be disconnected. Mm. Why would that be? It's not even under there. Probably been removed. Yeah, so it doesn't get knocked accidentally or something and knock the. Uh, ooh. It's got a speak speakers behind there. No. Nope. Yeah, speakers down there. Hmm. Well. Apart from what we're doing, the battery is my concern. Let's see, it's one of those dodgy, fat old batteries. It's not um, corroding in, in any way, is it? No, I think that's just dust. Right, let's put it back together.